coming into the BPI room. Hello. It's Jane from BPI. Yeah. Jane, how are you? Good, how are you? Come show us what we have. Uh, wow, you've got a big room. Yeah. How many turntables do you have in here? Well, we have a lot. <laughs> okay, this is our uh, product line. You're uh, starting with the RCM or the record cleaning machine? Yes, our MW1 cyclo. All right. Yeah. And here we have the Nomad viewers and the Traveler and the Scout. And the classic one. This is the BPI candy store. And I think their BPI candy man is right over here. Hi, there Peter. He <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the room. Hey, hey. This is fantastic. Oh, yeah. No, we really have a lot of fun this year. We wanted to bring the entire product line. We wanted to just show, every, but we already bring a lot of tables. So we're like, eh, what's another couple of tables? Let's just show the whole line. Wow. And also, we're introducing our, our new table over here, as long as some other cool goodies. <laughs> Turn the volume down a little bit and go show us a new table. So we're not only showing a new table, we're also showing an experience. We brought our Tannoy speakers, and this is what happens when you get uh, a guy retiring, like my dad, and having him spend too much time on eBay. He gets all <laughs> sorts of cool stuff. These are totally cool. Oh my god, he's brought in these Tannoy speakers, he's brought in uh, uh, the Ohm Fs, mm -hmm. uh, Carver speakers, mm -hmm. but he, he enjoys them. Just got even more. Now, I know there's been some buzz on the internet here this weekend about this amplifier. Yes, this is our uh, new integrated tube amplifier. Uh, it's a bit outside our comfort zone, but uh, something that just had to be done. Um, this is the product of both Harry Weisfeld and uh, Steve Leong of VAS Audio, yep. having, t again, too much time on their hands now mm -hmm. and just uh, um, collaborating together to make this. Uh, they took in a, uh, an old used Scott amplifier. Um, geez, I guess it had to be about two and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. And the two of them were just a bunch of engineers fiddling around with this. And then they started to do stuff and they did more. And then before you knew it, we had this finished product and they just they had to do it. You know, well, we had you, to get this out there. Well, it's one of those things where you can build a, you know, a modest production run if you need to, if you yes. have orders or if you have interest in it. And if you don't, it's still, it's here it is if you have a, you have a beautiful amplifier. Exactly. Yeah. It's going to retail for $4,000 okay. uh, with photo stage um, amplifier. Uh, and we're also, uh, my one influence in there is uh, the inclusion of a, of a headphone amplifier as well. Um, and remote control. So we have uh, that feature too. And then up here we have our turntable. Oh, and, and in this room as well we're using the Merrill Audio Phono Stage. Yeah. Uh, since we're using the Autophon Condenser Bronze, which is uh, low output, uh, our amplifier is uh, a high output. Mm -hmm. But no worries, just go right into the Merrill and you're good to go. And then here we go. Yes, the new VPI Prime turntable. Uh, this is my first solo take at a design. Um, in the past with the Traveler, the Nomad, and, and everything else there, it was uh, you know, with Dad. Uh, but here, I essentially took out my pad, started sketching, uh, then moved from there. This model is going to be the first table at $3,500 that's also including the 10-inch 3D printed tone arm. Get up, you need $3,500 for this? Yes, uh, so that's the, the debut price and uh, we, we hope to keep it there. Uh, but definitely through Christmas and through the rest of the year, uh, it would be the 10-inch 3D printed tone arm uh, with the VTA tower, outboard motor, classic platter. Uh, actually, this, we're using the HRX center weight because it's much easier for shows, um, but it actually comes standard with uh, uh, the um, Delrin aluminum uh, clamp here. And we have our new Prime feet, which offer better isolation. Uh, these are, the feet actually drop right into this uh, foundation which is a hard delrin with a aluminum coupling on the inside as well as ball bearings to uh, offer additional isolation. Um, it inspired actually by you know, Still Point, you know, mm -hmm. Bruce Jacobs, uh, mm -hmm. he, he got a kick out of them uh, since we wanted to include Still Points, but they are a little, little more pricey. Yeah, that's going to push it out of the $3,500 range. Exactly. And if I was one of your international uh, the distributors, I would get the order in now. Yes, <laughs> these are that's an amazing price. Yes, yeah, and that's right because we we've done so much with the entry level with the Nomad yeah. and the Traveler and trying to do that. That well, now we want to do something for the audiophile. We want to do something for someone who's drank the Kool Aid. They're in this industry and they want the best bang for their buck. Now we've been able to done, do this because with the 3D printing, with the trickle down technology, and also us printing a lot of these guys. 
that we're able to drive the price down. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we will be having a new price for the Arm One itself uh, mm -hmm. that we'll be announcing probably within the next week or so. Mm -hmm. um, and this guy, 3500 And with the SDS, we're also having it as a Prime Complete uh, oh. at 4500 So you can get the SDS and the Scout Prime at 4500 um, the SDS is usually $1,200, mm -hmm. so in the interest of the whole package, you can save the $200, and, mm -hmm. and you're, uh, you're good to go. So this is, uh, I guess, the audio file there Happy Meal here. This is it. <laughs> okay, like? the Prime Cut Happy Meal from the Candyman himself, Matt Weisfeld from yeah. the Well, thank you for coming, Peter. Thank you very much, Matt.